church until you change your thinking. Until you change your mindset. Until you change your focus. You will never be able to continue or to enter into the promised land. Hmm? The word of God says that we have to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. It's only by our renewed thinking that we can take on and progress and our mindset have to change in order for us to succeed. Now, although Israel had changed their location physically, it would take a mental relocation of their minds for them to grab hold of what God had in store for them. And so until, folks, until we start really believing our deliverance, until we start believing our financial situation, until we start believing in our success, in good health, it's only then we will be able to get out of Egypt and enter into our kingdom. Change our focus. We've got to change our focus. What else we got to do, preacher? We got to move and operate in favor of the Lord. Hmm? No, to move and operate in favor of God literally means three things. One, to have accessibility to his presence. Two, to have advantage of his power. And three, to have availability of his promise. Accessibility of his presence is having access to the Father and to God at all times. We have access to the presence of God 24 hours a day, seven days a week through Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus says in John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. That's why everything we do, everything we say should be in the name of Jesus. For Paul lets us know in Acts 4.12, he says, there is no other name given among men. Whereby we can be saved by the name of Jesus because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. True Jesus, to God. Accessibility. When we find ourselves in the presence of God, we will find out that the things, uh, that things will begin to move and operate according to God's plan. Situation will work themselves out for us. Circumstances will begin to change. Dark nights will turn into bright shining day for his presence his presence, there is no darkness at all in the presence of God. And once you have accessibility to the presence of God, you will be able to grab hold of the advantage of his power. That means that although it seems like the enemy has the upper hand on you, Actually, you would have the advantage Amen. over him. Amen. See, church, we have the power to cast out demons. We have the power to lay hands on the sick and to heal. Amen. We have the power <clears throat> to call things out. We have power to tell the enemy to take his hands off our families, Amen. off our finances, Amen. of anything that belongs to us. That's the advantage of the power of God. Amen. 
And because we have accessibility of his presence, and because we have advantage of his power, we will also be able to receive the availability of his promise. For just as he promised the children of Israel, a land flowing with milk and honey, he promised us eternal life. He promised us more abundant life. He promised us a life without sorrow and without pain. So if you want to move in a forward progression towards the kingdom of God, it's time, church, to stop thinking about Egypt and to keep your eyes focused on Canaan. Amen. We gotta change. We gotta change our focus. Romans 12, 2 says, be not conformed to this world, but we need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect the will of God. So stop thinking about Egypt. Keep your eyes on Canaan. Move and operate in the favor of God. It's time to move forward in the things of God. It's time to stop looking one way and think another. If we are going to make it to heaven, I hear Paul saying, to forget those things which are behind and reach forward to the things which are before us. And he says that in order to do that, we got to press. You got to press towards the price, towards the mark. You got to press in Christ Jesus. Oh yes, church, you got to press. So you got to tell the person next to you, we got to press. The Christian pathway is not a gravy train with biscuit wheels. You gotta press. Because when you get into the press, church, listen to this. When you get into the press, you will find out that Jesus is in the midst. If you don't believe me, just ask the sick of the palsy. The Bible says that when they could not reach Jesus because of the price, they had to uncover the roof and let the man down inside the roof because of the price, but they got the price. Things concerning you happen quickly when you get in the price. <laughs> when you tear the roof off, when you tear the roof of discouragement, when you tear off the roof of disappointment and you gotta press, things will happen. Because when you get into the press church, you will find out that you will be able to touch Jesus. If you don't believe me, just ask the woman with the issue of blood. No. A woman, a woman with an issue of blood, subject to bleeding for 12 years, she had suffered many things of many physicians. The Bible says that the doctor took all her money, and yet, instead of she get better, she got worse and worse. But then the Bible says that she heard about Jesus. I don't know who she heard it from. It may have been the man who was born blind. I don't know. I don't know who she heard it from. It may have been Mary Magdalene for whom Jesus cast out 7,000 demons. I don't know who she heard it from. But the Bible says that she heard it and she came in the press behind him and touched his garment. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, then I would be made whole. Church, in order to touch Jesus, 